Alrighty, who's ready to go deep sea diving into some coconut milk? And welcome back to Cliffy Land. This is weekend country number 180 on our second attempt of cooking the food of every single country in the world. Tonight we're up to the nation of Tuvalu. Tuvalu, an island nation located in the Pacific Ocean, sort of halfway between Australia and Hawaii, is a beautiful, very isolated nation and it has a very delicious cuisine that is very typical of that of Oceania. It's a very remote nation, and that means that it doesn't have a whole lot of influence from other outside nations. The traditional dishes of Oceania are kind of what you'd find here, in that you're finding lots of dishes involving fish and coconut and taro. In the case of this nation, it's a very specific kind of taro called swamp taro. As with the nations of Oceania, there are deep, rich cultural traditions evolved around eating that we're not going to even pretend to try to recreate here in this kind of forum. If you're interested in those things, please check them out online from the people from those nations. They're going to do it the right way, not like this guy. In terms of the cuisine of Tuvalu, there's also a little bit of influence from the food of the British, and at least the traditions of the British, in that they were a British colony at one time. And also, there is a good amount of influence from the United States in that after World War II, the nation, as well as a whole lot of other nations of the Pacific Islands, became kind of dependent on canned, salty, high-fat foods that came in from the United States and other Western nations. That being said, there are a whole lot of traditional dishes to draw upon. One of them is palusami. Now, we did a version of that way back when we cooked the food of Fiji, and that was one version of it. Everyone has their own, and people fight about that all the time. So we're not going to try to do that again this time. But we had to face this whole thing before. Four, so let's see how things went when we tried things last time around. Well, five years ago on the Global Cooking Challenge, I got to cook and stream across two nights, and the first night I was lucky in that I was able to score not only taro, but taro leaves, something that's shockingly hard to find in this particular neck of the woods. So I did a taro with seafood, which came out very nicely. I seasoned it okay, it was fine, but it could have been better. But what we are cooking here tonight is what we did on the second night, which is a Tuvalu seafood with coconut milk, which came out very nicely last time. Looking forward to doing it again. So let's see what goes into that dish. For our Tuvalu coconut tuna, we'll need one pound of raw, wild-caught yellowfin or ahi tuna steaks, two tablespoons of canola oil, one medium onion peeled and roughly chopped, one tablespoon of freshly grated ginger root, four large cloves of garlic peeled and minced, two scotch bonnet, or in this case habanero, hot chili peppers, seeds left in and roughly chopped, only one if you don't like super spicy hot dishes and leave the seeds out if you want it even milder, one tablespoon of curry powder, four green onions chopped, 12 ounces of unsweetened coconut milk, four ounces of sugar snap pea pods or any green vegetable of your choosing, soy sauce to taste, and fresh cilantro or parsley for garnish. You can also serve that with coconut rice, which be rice cooked in a half water and half coconut milk. That's going to be really good, and the best part about it is rather a quick prep and a really quick cook too, so we need to get cooking. In a large skillet or wok, heat up the oil over medium-high heat. Saute the onions for a few minutes until fragrant and translucent. Then add in the peppers, curry powder, garlic, and reduce the heat to medium. Cook until softened and aromatic, about seven to 10 minutes. Stir in the coconut milk, and then the green onions, ginger root, and the sugar snap peas. Add the tuna steaks into the mix, and add the soy sauce to taste. The author recommends a lot of soy sauce since it really sets the rest of the flavors off nicely. Cook until the tuna is nicely browned on the outside and as done in the center as you'd like. Traditionally, Tuvalu coconut tuna is served with rice and often coconut rice. That would be rice cooked in half coconut milk and half water and garnish with fresh parsley or cilantro. It was very delicious. The seafood was cooked just right. The tuna, I paid top dollar for that sashimi tuna, but it was really worth it. It was really nice in that it had a good amount of heat from that chili pepper. I like hot food. I know that's not kind of, you know, my genetic makeup, but uh, I really have come to really love hot food. So I put a whole lot of that uh, habanero or, you know, 
scotch bonnet if you want into that dish. Uh, you can tone that down if you want to. It plays nicely off the coconut milk and the lime juice did give it a nice bit of acid. The cilantro on top of course has that nice combination of acid to go with the uh, cilantro. It was lemon not lime but you get the point. So I'm going to give that dish a good four out of five globes. Really delicious overall. Thank you Oceana. We have only one more of those to go before we wrap up this whole thing. So that does it for Oceana. Next week we head back to Africa for one of our very last times to have the wonderful food of Uganda. See you then. These are not my original recipes. Links to the original recipes and their authors can be found in the about section. If you have any thoughtful feelings or helpful suggestions about what I'm doing, feel free to sound off in the comments here. If you like what you see, like, subscribe, hit that bell to be notified when these videos are posted. And of course, you can always follow us on social media, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. Thanks for coming by. See you next time. Happy eating.